Hi, uh, my name is Tim League, and I am the founder of Alamo Draft House Cinema. And tonight we are here at the Seaholm Power Plant for the regional premiere of the new uh, perfect director's cut of Metropolis. This is the first time this film has been shown in this part of the United States ever. So we're here in part because um, the movie itself is set in an Art Deco era power plant and Austin just happens to have an Art Deco era power plant. So when it came time for the premiere, we knew exactly where it had to be and that was going to be Seaholm Power Plant. And so we're going to have a live orchestration, uh, Austin composers premiering their new work. They've, they've done Metropolis before, but this is an augmented version that accounts for that extra 25 minutes of on-screen footage. I'm here with Graham Reynolds. He's one of the composers of the score for tonight. And uh, Graham, I guess maybe you want to talk a little bit about how you uh, how you go about composing a score for perhaps the most famous movie of all time. Yeah. What goes through your head? Uh, you watch it a bunch of times, and then Peter and I split it up. So I did the first. I was in charge of the first half. He was in charge of the second half. We each came up with themes, traded themes. So I had his, and he had mine, and then started building from there. All right, now I'm here with uh, Peter Stopchinski. He's the other half of the Golden Hornet project. He's the second composer of the two composer team that's put the, the uh, experience together tonight. So, um, uh, Peter Graham said that you had the uh, the unfortunate half of the composition. <laughs> yeah. So what exactly does that mean? Well, I think there's about 25 minutes of new footage. I probably had about 20 of it or something <laughs> like that. Um, lots of scenes uh, that were extended before that before were maybe just a there's a long flood scene where the underwater worker city is being flooded. Now that gets cut up a little bit more with some more narrative aspects. The thin man, the spy of Freder's father. Uh, gets a lot more footage, which I'm sure his family is happy they found this footage because now all of a sudden he's in the movie at time, which he never was before. Um, it made some of the music that we had composed previously a little bit useless. So it uh, had to be reworked to fit the new style. So. 